Guys, welcome back with another video on the channel. Thanks for joining Crypto Trading App. As always, guys, we are back with an update. This time, a very quick update about numbers protocol. So let's get right into it. So, guys, our price predictions till now are perfectly predicted for numbers protocol. We just saw it actually have a sort of of a fake out, but actually, it's still in the trajectory of Elliott Triangle Wave because if we take and we see this as our point A, so this could be our A, B. Just created the C around this area. So now we are falling for a E. So a D and then we could see our E price target around this area over here, guys. But what's really, really important right now, guys, to continue this trajectory of Elliott Triangle Wave, A, B, C, D, E, is we need to see us at not close under this level over here. If we close under this level, guys, it means that we are creating a lower low, which is something bearish, which absolutely uh, invalidates this uh, Elliott Triangle Wave. So this would be like out of the question and we can see just a fall all the way back around this area over here. But as of right now, guys, we are still two hours away from the candle close. We have plenty of room, guys, to even maybe close above this level over here. So this is too soon to judge right now. Are we in an, are we in, in a downfall? Was it just a fake out? If we look at our indicators right now, because we need to to calculate and see our indicators to see what's more what's the more likely scenario my my entry point guys will still be this flag over here so it will still be this area over here as soon as we can close above not just go above close above i will be entering uh, or adding to my back because i believe we will continue then i'll at least all the way back to this e area over here or at 0 0.15 as of right now guys if we look at our rsi we can see that our rsi is actually resetting uh, pretty good it's resetting actually higher than uh, lower than the price. So we have uh, lower RSI while our price point moves a little, uh, decreases a little less. We can see that our RSI over here is lower. And if we check our price point, it's actually higher than somewhere around this area so over here. So that's something a little bullish. We don't see a huge re uh, reset. So this is not something very, very like too bullish, but it's just still on the bullish trajectory. If we check our uh, boundary bands right now here, guys, we can see that we just fell back down to this average over here. And what we always say, guys, if we move outside of the boundary bands, either to the top side or to the downside, we always at least resort back somewhere around this area here or here area over here of this average so right now we are just above this average over here so if you look at the only these two indicators right now guys i believe we will see a close above this level over here above this uh, descending wedge which would see us have some sideways movement and then continue uh, back up of course it's just based on my research there's no financial advice right now guys what i would do is keep a very close look at this level over here if we have in less than two hours a little less than two hours i close under this level over here it's very, very likely, guys, that you are going to see a bearish trajectory being created, created again. It will invalidate this higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, because then we will be having a higher lower low, which invalidates this whole trajectory over here. But I believe based on the indicators that we will see a push uh, above this level over here. So my next price targets, guys, for... Um, for numbers protocol, we will see at least a close at this level over here of 0.112. I believe our close will be there. The next target would be at 118. And then after that, guys, I believe the next close will be above this level over here. And that will be around this area over here to be exact would be here at 0.127. Okay, so that's it, guys. Those are my price targets. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comment down below. If you have any questions about any other coin, also drop them in the comment. I will try to make a video about it as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed already, please also try to keep you up to date about any other coin, about any update on the market before a pump or a dump happened. And as always, guys, thanks for the support and peace out.